All right, welcome back to Diddly Squat Gaming. We are attempting supply and demand, and I swear I've done this task before. I uh, I kind of have a feeling that they're renaming tasks in different areas just because they ran out of names. Uh, but anyways, let's go ahead and get this done. Uh, it is it is completely possible that. Um, they haven't, but I'm pretty sure they have, and also I just wanted to point out uh, they didn't capitalize the demand part, so normally on uh, these tasks, the second word will be uh, capitalized, so for whatever reason, maybe it's a typo, uh, little, little error there, but uh, we are taking, <coughs> we are taking our KRS bandits and our Dairy Longhorn. We we're stuck. Let's let's turn on the uh, Terry Longhorn. That might help us out. So this is actually the first time that I think I've used the uh, the bandit, and it's not going too well. So let's change trucks. Try to get this monster back on the road. Whoa. Alright, so we uh, instantly just sunk ourselves, apparently. Uh, let's throw it in reverse and then turn on the diff lock. There we go. <clears throat> well, this isn't starting out too great, but... That's okay, we'll get, uh, we'll get online shortly. We'll get back into action. Let's change trucks. Let's throw our winch on. Let's try to keep the uh, trucks a lot closer together. That should help out quite a bit. Now the uh, the major downside to this truck that um, I see right away is the 40 gallon capacity. Uh, which at our current rate on only gives us about 10 minutes. So we do have some fuel on top because this is one of the few trucks that has a uh, a supply uh, add-on for the roof. <clears throat> but I think what we're going to do is we're going to have to probably leave the bandit at the intersection or the crossroad up here. We're going to take the dairy. We're going to go grab, I believe, it's the concrete slabs. <clears throat> I could be wrong. I mean, it's, it's a 50-50 shot. Uh, but we'll go pick up whatever's uh, in this area down here. This is where we kind of have to drop the one vehicle off. We'll go to the factory, which is... Yay, concrete slab. Oh, and vehicle spoiler parts. Alright, never mind. Can we get... Uh... Ah, we can't. Okay. Well, never mind. We'll, uh, I'm kind of glad I checked this. We're going to go and go straight down. <laughs> We're just going to go for it. And yeah, we'll see. We'll see how uh, this works out because we may end up having to use the dairy to pull the KRS, the bandit. And well, but yeah, because the bandit's probably going to run out of gas because I don't think we have that much on the fuel rack. And I'm not really sure. I'm sure this truck is amazing. Uh, I, I was told the KRS or the Bandit was really good for uh, logging. And I don't know if it will be. I mean, I'm hoping we have at least 40 more gallons on top of the uh, the cab there. That would make it uh, relatively the same fuel capacity as, say, the, uh, the Dairy Longhorn back there. Although the dairy, I think, has 106 gallons, so... But 80 gallons is still a decent size fuel, so... We're just gonna have to do a lot of filling up, because it's got such a teeny tiny gas tank. And... I don't even know where they have the gas tank, to tell you the truth. <laughs> I don't even... I don't even see it on here. It must be inside the cab? 
That doesn't really make too much sense. Maybe they just, uh, maybe they just used a really wide, long hose and weaved it in around the frame. Although I feel like we would see that too, so. Anyways, it's not really important. Uh, but that was, that was a trick that, um, I, I forgot who the guy's name was, but he was one of the early drivers of NASCAR. And NASCAR came out and said, oh, you can only have this size capacity fuel tank. So he's like, okay. So he put in like an inch and a half, 40 foot long fuel line. And he was able to win a lot of races that way. So I forgot his name. I wish I could remember it. But uh, they're saying like half or if three quarters maybe of the uh, rule book by NASCAR was created because this guy would find ways around the rules and then they would have to come in and and change things up so all right that gave us a little bit more traction slowing our tires down Let's see what high gear does in this truck anyways i'm full of stupid facts like that half of them i can't remember correctly so uh if anyone knows who that name was or and or uh any other facts that i said that i got wrong let me know and while you're while you're typing in the comments, go ahead and give me a thumbs up and subscribe to get more Snow Runner content. And uh, if you have any suggestions for games that you want to see me play, uh, put those in there too because I will. I'm completely open for that. Uh, I love I love trying out new games that I haven't tried before, and you know it's it's the rare ones that uh, kind of like Snow Runner. Uh, at least back in the day when I first found out about it. It was uh, not a very popular game, so it was quite refreshing to try a, a game that wasn't this fast-paced racing game or fast-paced fighting game or shooters or, or FPSs or, uh, let's see, I was probably playing Diablo 2 or 3 at the time, <laughs> so uh, it was kind of a fun little different game to play and it's it's led me to play a couple of other odd games here and there, so... Uh, but yeah, anyways, if you guys have uh, games that you want to see me play, let me know in the comments. And yeah, that's my uh, that's my YouTube spiel right now. That's, that's, all I'll, that's all I'll say about that. Alright, so... So far the truck is... I don't know. I'm, I'm impartial right now with this truck. It doesn't... it's got the nice flotation tires. I'm still not 100% sure if flotation tires are the best route to go. Uh, but I might be testing this out in my, uh, in my test series. Wow. I call it a series. I've done one video. Um, and it wasn't... I mean, it did pretty well. It got like 150 views, a couple thumbs up, a couple comments. It, uh, but yeah, <laughs> it wasn't mind blowing. It didn't, it didn't go viral, but uh, I do plan on making more. It's just uh, few and far in between. I want to try different things, and basically, what I want to do is play Snow Runner. And when I come up with ideas of, okay, let's test this truck in the same mud pit, I'll, uh, I'll do a video on it, of testing it, and seeing uh, how these tires do. But uh, that's, that, that will be down the road. <clears throat> I'm also very busy at my, my real life uh, job, I guess is what you want to call it. But just, just my real life alone is pretty busy, so it's been a hectic uh, month, so... I haven't been able to uh, do as many recordings as I would like, but uh, yeah, you know, I guess it's it's part of the, the, the game. Uh, I always I always have more time in the winter, less things to do, less things to take care of. But yeah, so anyways, <laughs> um, anything else that I can say about this truck, like? I, I'm already getting down to 13 gallons, so I'm a little cautious or weary about using this truck for long distance hauling. 
but I did want to give it a shot and it seems like a good time to do and or it seemed like a good time to use it so yeah, I thought why not why not well, why not let's use this we'll have a uh, tested and true vehicle behind us as a support vehicle and yeah we'll just uh, we'll test it out see how, see how it does and right now the, my biggest concern is that uh, that small fuel tank or in this case a non-existent fuel tank it, it seems to be holding its own though I'm not I'm not gonna lie it, it it's a small truck but it uh, it's quite powerful so once you get these tires to um, kind of slow down and bite the mud instead of just hightailing and uh, and just spinning straight through it it kind of uh, it kind of shines so but again we're down to nine gallons of fuel so I don't think we're gonna get to the uh, the warehouse to pick these up sorry the factory it's the factory ooh we did just stall there so that's a little disappointing that we stalled there. Because uh, the, the dairy is on, so it is helping. It's, it's not just a dead load. Hmm. Was somebody pulling my leg about how good this truck was? Let me know in the comments, guys, if you uh, like this truck for logging or if you uh, despise this truck. And then if you have any other truck suggestions I should get. I know EJ, he uh, he has his truck that he wants me to get and I'll probably end up getting it. I'll just wait until it goes on sale because it is a it is a paid DLC. So um, and me, I don't like to pay for anything full price. So I can wait for it. Uh, it, it probably was actually on sale over the holiday weekend and I didn't look. <laughs> so maybe maybe I'll double check real quick and see if it is on sale. And if it is, I'll I'll, I'll pick it up, and he'll probably ex be excited to see it. So uh, we are down to five gallons of fuel. We almost made it. If I didn't if I didn't have to uh, mess around with the dairy when we first pulled out, we probably would have made it. I I don't see how four gallons is going to get us there. If I do this, it might speed us up, so that might not be a bad idea. It feels like we're starting to sputter a little. But now that we're on asphalt, we should get there. Come on. Like, we have less than one minute of fuel remaining, so... Alright, we, we made it, so you know what? That works for me. Uh, so we need vehicle spare parts. That's very, very important. I've done this before where I've gotten just service spare parts and screwed everything up. So, uh, yeah, we need four of those. Let's get this turned around. And, and hopefully... <laughs> Whoa! Oh, turn! Okay, so this truck doesn't have the greatest turning radius. I didn't notice that off of... Uh, out in the wild, but in this uh, factory, you really can, uh, you really can tell. Alright, so we're gonna pull up over here. Although it doesn't, most trucks would have sputtered, sputtered out by now and have lost all their power. And uh, we did not, so let's go ahead and stop the engine. We will refuel. We have all 37. All right, so we now have 39. So not quite a full, not quite a full tank, but pretty close. Let's go ahead and turn our headlights on. I'm gonna, I'm gonna grab our concrete slabs and then we're going to uh, spend the night and uh, head out early in the morning.
Oh, wow, what was that? That was... Everything just kind of lit up like there was a comet or something. Is there a comet in Russia at night? Like, is that a thing? Or is it just weird? Alright, let's see here. Concrete slabs. We got our two. We're good to go. Let's go ahead and, and drive around and get set up for uh, tomorrow morning. So yeah, the uh, the Bandit might be a good support vehicle. Because uh, the support vehicles usually don't use as much fuel when they're towing versus leading. So that might actually help us out. But uh, anyways, let's go ahead and shut the engine off and we will skip to morning. And just like that, it is now morning. <laughs> I wish there was a little bit like a cutscene or something. Uh, something a little exciting, but I'm not gonna lie. If there was a cutscene, I'd be sitting here complaining that it's uh, that it takes too long. So let's go ahead and we're gonna bring that in just a little bit closer. There we go. Yeah, that's that's a good distance. Ooh, don't hit. Ooh, that was close. All right, and we uh. We might as well go out the way we came. And hopefully everyone clears. Train out. Train out your wheels, bandit. Come on. Oh, just cleared it. Nice. All right. Let's go ahead and going to low plus we're really gonna test out these tires with this truck we actually haven't uh, haven't really driven this truck with these tires so uh, but so far these are the best tires that have helped perform any of the jack of all trade tires uh, oh yeah let's let's turn on the uh, bandits engine. That should help us out a little bit. I mean, I guess that's a great way to save fuel. But, uh, hey, you know what? There's a good test for me. Dragging, having the, the uh, how, how can I say this? Doing a setup like this, a train or convoy and seeing how much fuel I burn with the vehicle behind or the tow vehicle behind off versus on and which one is more fuel efficient do i will i end up burning more fuel uh in this case with the uh dairy longhorn i mean we i will if the uh bandit's motor is off but is it is it more or less than if the bandit's motor is on if that makes sense let me know what your prediction is i might have to do that as a test as well because uh, that would be that would be interesting to know and it would be uh, very interesting if it's exactly the same like if I burn I don't know 20 gallons in the dairy and burn five gallons in that in the uh, the bandits and then if I turn off the bandit and do the same run I end up burning 25 gallons then my tests would be kind of for not. But at the same time, at least you know, and so you know, and knowing is half the battle. All right. So, anyways, let's uh, let's hold, hang up this way. I guess we can go into low plus since we're now out of the uh, the bad stuff. Although, let's try to cut across here and avoid most of the mud. Yep, I got four vehicle spare parts, and I've got two concrete slabs. And we gotta go all the way to Zimogorsk. We got a we got a long truck to go, and not really any support vehicles out there to help us, are there? I think once we, if we can make it to the quarry, we'll be close to a fuel station, so we can always fuel up there. But that's if we make it.
All right, let's see here. I think, you know what? We can go into automatic. Ah, uh, maybe not. Thought maybe it would be faster, but let's just go ahead with low plus. Especially with the mud that's coming up. Well, it's not really mud. I lied. It's mostly dirt right now. I wonder how much uh, the difference is on the tires if you have a good dirt tire but a excellent dirt tire. And then the excellent dirt tire is good in the mud and the good dirt tire is excellent in the mud. I said that correctly. I don't even know if I said that correctly. Well, anyways, you guys kind of know what I mean. Like, does it really matter that your dirt tire, which is a harder packed dirt, is quote unquote good versus the uh, the mud tire being excellent? I, I think you just would automatically go with the excellent mud tire. And, you know, any tire works good enough on dirt. <laughs> Like I know, I know if you look at the excellent um, highway tires, your your grip is much better on asphalt. But asphalt's kind of weird in this this game because I feel like any of these tires would do really good on asphalt compared to the way they handle on dirt or mud. But if you have a bad asphalt tire, you kind of slide all over the place on asphalt, and it's it seems strange. It just seems strange. Like I know, I know like an all-terrain or a mud tire would do horrible compared to a, uh, say street or racing tire, but that's, that's if you're going, you know, 90 miles an hour. We're, we're topping off at like what, 25? We're, we're barely moving here. So I feel like both tires would, would do kind of the same. But I don't know. What do I know? Hmm. You know, I'm, 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 is the, what is the bandit doing? Okay, that was weird. <laughs> I, it looked like the bandit was trying to ride up onto the trailer. Ah, that stupid, that stupid log. There's a hidden log under the mud puddle and I thought I went around it. And yeah, turns out I didn't. So let's uh, stop the engine, change trucks. Let's try to get this thing unstuck. Oh come on! Ooh, I'm 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 really in there, aren't I? Okay. I think maybe I just broke it. It's it's that root, and I don't know why it is, but that root catches us every time. And there's just no no getting around it. See if we go really stupid wide. All right, I think we're clear now. Yay, we're clear. All right, so we're down to 23 gallons in this truck. That's uh, that's not very great. So let's uh, stop the engine, I guess, and change trucks. Even though that shouldn't suck that much gas, but you know, it's one of those things. If if I can save a gallon here, I might make it. All right. Come on. Why is my dairy not moving? 
Okay, that was that was weird. I don't I don't know what that was all about. Is that the whole you know bad dirt tire that it wasn't moving? I'm not really I'm not really sure what that was all about. This truck is more than capable. Unless I unless I changed the engine, I don't think I did. I I, I think there's one more engine upgrade above this. that we get in... Is it the Cola Peninsula? It might be that or it might be Wisconsin. And that's that's a long ways away, so... Um, either way. Uh, I would like to... I would like to try it and get it, but... Uh, yeah, we'll have to wait on that. Because uh, you can always use more power, right? Although it does, uh, it does tend to uh, kill you with uh, fuel economy so there's there's that issue too all right let's try auto and see if we can speed up maybe high high gear that's that's doing it all right so my thoughts on the bandits um the fuel tank kills it and it doesn't seem to be that great. Um, I don't know if it's just because I don't have the right engine in it. I don't even remember if I've changed the engine. Um, maybe, maybe, maybe having the stock engine is better. Because usually the stock engine is uh, the best fuel economy that you can get. Maybe that route's better to have with this because of the uh, the small fuel tank. You can double your fuel economy. You can double how far you go, right? So, but uh, yeah, I don't know. I might have to to look into that. I can't for the life of me remember who suggested the ARS was a uh, a good logging truck. I'd, I'll I'll have to look back at my uh, comments and see. Maybe he knows the secret, or they know the secret to um, the setup. And if you're watching, and it was you, leave a comment and let me know what the perfect setup is, because uh, I'm sure there's other people dying to know that as well. But anyways, now I'm hoping I just get to a gas station. Ooh, you know what? I could have went... Well, you know what? We don't have time. Should have, would have, could have. I, I, I was thinking the other way would be faster. But I wasn't quite sure, so I, I went this route. And, well, that's... That's the route we're, we're going. Well, I guess that's a good sign, too, that that up triangle <laughs> is uh, behind us. Saying that we need to pick up those items. Alright, I really hope we can make it to the fuel station. Uh, come on, truck. That head gear just does not work. I, it might be these tires. Well, it's the tires and the fact that I'm load or hauling two slabs of concrete. Technically, six, six slabs of concrete, and then uh, four vehicle spare parts and a whole another truck behind me. That might have something to do with it. It might. I think it does. I'm gonna say it does. All right. So 24 gallons. We're burning five gallons a minute, so that gives us roughly just under five minutes. Four and a half minutes now. <laughs> we should be okay to get there. Um, there we go. Okay, our fuel tanks are now in the red. 
But I think that pretty much just means you have less than a quarter of a tank. Alright, let's try slipping and sliding up this hill. Well, of course, the bandit decided to uh, stay off road. There we go. Now it's on the road. That should speed it up. We gotta go wide here, though. Maybe if I shorten up the winch line, too, that should help. Alright, there's a fuel stop, so we should be fine to get fuel. We'll have to refill this truck with the Bandit and the uh, the fuel jugs. The jerry cans, that's the word I was looking for. Alright. <clears throat> Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Go to the next action. Boom. We'll pull on this truck. Let's, uh... Go ahead and shut this off so we don't waste gas. Change the trucks. We will refuel. Oh, we can't do it that way. What am I thinking? Okay, the bandits filled and the jerry cans are filled. That was a pretty good fuel stop. Alright, let's change the truck. Fire this back up. We'll move forward slightly. We'll attach the winch. I don't know why I'm announcing every single thing I do. I don't know. It's commentary, right? That's what you're supposed to do. Ooh, uh... Ooh! Low? Ooh, she's shaking. Come on! She's acting like she wants to budge. Let's go ahead and roll down. Come on. Go oh, no. Let's try low gear. Get some more speed going. There we go. Look at that, you don't need a winch line. Nope. I should have never... Let's actually roll back a little bit more. Let's go low plus. Are you gonna get going? No? Okay, low it is. There we go. Come on. Come on. Oh! Ah! Okay, we'll go back again. I'm, uh, I, I don't know what's going on right now. Alright, let's just stay in low. That seems to be good. We must be, uh, we must be a very heavy load right now. Yeah, let's stay over here, because we gotta watch. That pole should be fine, actually. We're going to end up burning all of our fuel before we even get across this map. Probably by the time we get up this hill. Okay, there's high. Low high. Or, yeah, low plus. That's that's what I was looking for. Let's try highway gear. Or, uh, geez, now I'm saying it. The high gear. Highway gear. It's the hill gear. Hill, hill deep. Wow. Hill gear. That's what I'm looking for. All right. Oh, cool. Random, random acts of violence. Let's go low plus. Ah, uh, maybe auto. 
Ah, uh, we're slipping. Lock that differential. Oh. Yeah, you guys were probably yelling at me for a while about that. Um, I didn't have the engine on the, uh, the bandit, so that would explain why I was having such a hard time pulling it. Oi. Well, you know what? <laughs> at least we, uh, we saved some gas, right? Maybe? Doubt it? In that case, I don't think we would have saved gas at all. That would have, uh, the, the amount of time that that took? Yeah, we, we definitely lost gas, so... I guess that's another option, too, that I didn't talk about. It's actually costing more gas, or using more fuel, only having one truck running versus having both trucks running. That, that could very well be, depending on the situation. Alright, so we have made it to uh, the quarry. And now... We gotta travel through the quarry. This shouldn't take too long. Problem is, I don't remember exactly where we need to go in Zimagors. So that might take... That might take the entire episode, actually. You know what? I wouldn't be surprised at this point if it does. Uh, the good news is we have the cats as a fuel uh, truck, so... We have that as an option. Because I don't I don't really see a point of getting fuel right now. Let's turn that on. Actually, do we need all-wheel drive on? I always forget to turn it off when you're on asphalt. It really doesn't seem like it's overly necessary. But let's uh yeah. Let's disconnect and try to get the uh, the bandits unstuck. And yeah, we just we just ate that hole. Oh, that's a that's a weird glitching rock. You guys noticed it? Uh, change trucks. Patch winch. All right, let's go now. We're going to leave it in two-wheel drive. You know, I feel like we're going a lot faster. I know we're on asphalt, but maybe maybe there's something to turning off your all-wheel drive on asphalt. I know it saves you gas. I know that much. But maybe you can reach higher speeds. I've never, I've never thought about that, nor had, did I ever look into that. There's another test I can do. Are you faster in two-wheel drive or all-wheel drive on asphalt? Hmm, that could be that could be an interesting uh, case study I have there. All right, but anyways, even this part like it's flooded, but it's still asphalt. A, it's a little slippery, but you can still do it. And I don't know what to consider, you know, not all-wheel drive on this truck. I feel like four of your tires are spinning, or four of your tires have power, I should say that. And then when you go in all-wheel drive, uh, it may be the six back tires that have power, and then the front tire, or the front tires don't kick in until all-wheel drive. That could be something to uh, look at as well, so I'm coming up with a whole bunch of things to do. And I'm, I'm sure it probably varies from truck to truck too, so... Alright, so we got a giant tire. That's, that's wonderful. And I, I said tire. We have a giant rock under our tire. That's what I meant to say. Uh, There we go. Let's pick up some speed down the hill. Hit third gear. Okay. Bandit's still vertical behind us, so that's good. The 
Bandit's doing its thing. The Dairy's doing its thing. I'm kind of doing my thing. I mean, my mouth doesn't seem to want to put out the words that my brain are trying to say, so... And, uh, yeah, I hope you guys are doing your thing. Well, you should be, because you're watching this video, so... Anyways... Um... Yeah, I, I'm trying to be funny, I guess. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Sometimes my humor... is only funny to me, so... But anyways... Come on, Derry, you can do it. Get a little bit more traction. Ah, we're gonna need it for this mud hole anyways. I wonder how I could tr test what tires are spinning. I guess winch my, like, in a mud puddle, winch myself to a tree. And then try to pull away from the tree and see what tires spin. That could do it. That should do it. Seems logical. Alright, I think we're almost to, uh, Zimogorsk. And so far this has taken, uh, about 40 minutes. Well, over 40 minutes. Well, probably under 40 minutes, because I was talking a little bit. But yeah, that's, um... This has been a long mission. We're, gonna, we're just going to be able to do this. This might be, this actually might be the first one where I have to do one mission over two episodes. Although, we still have 18 minutes of this episode and we are almost to Zimagors. So, we should, we should be okay. I hope. But. Okay, let's travel. What? Why is... Why is that truck? Oh, there's a trailer there. Oops. <laughs> I thought I was... There we go. Alright, wow. Well, that's... that's... that's fun. Alright, let's, uh, attach the winch. Why do I have a feeling that I have to go this way? Yep. Oh, I gotta go two spots. Alright, I think what we're gonna do... That's a scout trail. Oh, that's not a very fun way to go. Well, you know what? Let's try the scout route. It's probably done. I'm probably going to have to take each truck individually. But, uh, yeah, let's, let's go for it. I don't, I don't think I've gone this route, so I'm not 100% sure if this is a scout trail. Or not. I guess we'll find out. Ah, uh, well, we're stuck. Let's try going low. All right, let's uh, let's break up the trucks. Am I that heavy? Oh no, the uh, yeah, the bandit tried to climb onto the trailer again, so that that hurt.
Come on. Let's try over here. There we go. That just makes so much more sense. Wow, we are we are just heavy, aren't we? I'm not even gonna bother to do that. We're gonna shoot in between here. Let me uh let me pick a better winch point. We're just gonna go straight through. Come on. I don't know what we're hung up on. Whew. That was tough. I mean, not the toughest thing I've been through, but still pretty tough. Not gonna lie. Alright, so we just gotta go down this hill now, so... That should be easy peasy. Oh, except we can't get uh, turning radius because we've uh, high centered on a boulder. But that uh, that was about three, three, ten, ten seconds ago now, fifteen seconds, twenty. I can just keep adding up as I go. Anyways, let's. Uh, we should be good now. Let's go ahead and change trucks, bandits. See how you do up this hill. I wish I wish I had four cement uh, slabs to kind of make it more even. But I got a feeling the uh, spare parts aren't as heavy. Yeah, like these tires just keep going. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna definitely give the edge to the bandit right now. Although the uh, the log isn't there, that was I think hanging us up. So that might have something to do with it. And see, now we seem to have slowed down. So yeah, it's one of those things. Sometimes it's good, sometimes it's not. Like, I, I really can't tell you why we're so slow through here. Tires are spinning fast. I just can't get any traction, I guess? Well. Alright, so the sun is already starting to come, go down, or sets. Yeah, that's the right word. Uh, let's change trucks. Let's slap on our winch. And let's continue on. Ah, there we go. <laughs> I killed my momentum. I accidentally turned off my all-wheel drive. Alright, there we go. You think all these trees would help give me uh, traction through here? get some come on there we go oh oh come on there we go okay 
Bandit seems to be doing its own thing back there. It's gonna end up going in the uh into that rock though. Oh, uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh. Let's um go into auto and back up. Try to avoid that hole at all costs. I think I saved us. I, I definitely think I saved us. All right, maybe we'll do this single file. Come on, pull me up, pull me up, pull me up. I can't even pull myself up. With a winch suit here. There we go. I'm so glad somebody stuck a random boulder there. Or a random log there. This is this is tough. I'm I'm not gonna lie. Like we're down to eight minutes left to this episode. This is a this is a tough episode. I guess at the end of the day, we're gonna have to see um, see if we can make it and uh, see if the bandit can do this, or if I gotta come back and rescue it. This is so weird. This truck is usually so good. But like, the fact that the tires aren't even spinning... That's got me so baffled right now. Hold on. Hold on. No, that's not what I told it to do. That's what I told it to do. Where is my winch? Okay. I'm getting frustrated right now, so hold on. Let's attach the winch. Oh, I have nothing on that side to attach to. Alright, that's that's the issue. Alright. Wow, that was... Uh, I don't know why I was starting to lose my cool there for a second. <laughs> Oi. Okay, so... Let's go ahead and shut this truck off. Let's uh, skip to morning since we're in this menu. We'll jump back in the bandit. And uh, let's take this up. We're down to 14 gallons, so we're running out. Although no, we're not running out because we've still got uh, 38 gallons on top. High gear doesn't really do anything. Low plus doesn't do anything. Yeah, we're just gonna cruise in first gear, I guess. We're gonna try to avoid falling into that mud hole. There we go. Slow and steady, right? Slow and steady wins the race. Until we run out of gas, and then that's a whole nother problem. 
Yeah, every time I try to speed up, we go, uh, we go slower. I think this is the only truck that goes faster in low minus than it does in low plus. Low might be the sweet spot though. Come on. Bite, 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 bite. Okay, so we didn't have the issue that we had getting up this hill in the dairy, so that's uh that kinda makes sense. And let's see here. <sighs> we are almost to the warehouse. You know what? If we get here. Let's get, let's get a move on. Let's change trucks. We gotta start this one up. If we can get a move on, I think I'm going to uh, push it over the uh, one hour limit. And we are going to uh, get this, get this mission done. Like I said, I think it may be the only mission that has that technically should have gone two episodes. Although I, I kind of hate finishing a mission when there's only like five minutes in the end of the next episode or the second episode. If we were a whole map away, I, I would definitely be calling it uh, quits in about three minutes. But we'll uh, we'll keep pushing through. I think we'll just go ahead and do the whole thing. I think after this hill. Uh, this trail gets a little bit easier and a lot faster, so no. Oh. Still need those differentials. So far, yeah. So far, this this is doing well. Oh, there's the tree. I'm gonna hit a tree. Just scrape the side of the tree. Okay, good. I think we cleared it. Uh, we gotta go left. I gotta remember how to get through here. Oh. Don't want to stop anytime soon. Until we're on at least dirt. Or asphalt. Come on. I feel like that's the the name of the game today is saying, come on. Let's go. Oh. I didn't even notice that the bandit was in a little bit of trouble. The bandit completely missed that bridge. Um, okay, so that's probably why we slowed down. You know what? Let's let's cut this way. Come on. There we go. We're gonna we're gonna head down this way. I think we'll be okay. Wow, we are we are stuck. Oh. <laughs> I didn't even notice that we were up like that. Alright, let's see if we can't get our tires on the ground. Come on. Although we are almost dangerously out of fuel. Come on, let's go. Alright, you know what guys? I think I think if we run out of fuel. I think I'm gonna have to call it an episode, because we're gonna have to take 
probably pick up the cat and um, we're gonna have to use the cat to bring us some fuel but we're so close I can almost taste it uh, what's the best route to go I guess we can go right Now what are we stuck on? Oh. How did I turn everything off? I don't know why the bandit's stuck. Okay, there we go. Is the bandit, did I, have I put fuel in the bandit? Should I abandon the bandit? And just straight up go. Yeah, we're gonna do that. We're gonna get this truck, because this truck is dangerously low on fuel. And I believe, I believe we have fuel in the bandit still, so. That one can. Yeah, that one can handle going that extra distance. Come on. Uh-oh. Do we... Yeah, the factory needs the concrete beams. Well, that's not good. Alright, well, you know what we can... what we can do? Let's pull this off here. Let's, uh, stop the engine. We'll go to the bandit. Oh, that's, uh, yeah, that's out of fuel. There we go. I didn't, uh, I wasn't getting the thing that said that the bandit was out of fuel. That's, uh, that's a little strange. Maybe that was why I was having such difficulty pulling it. Alright, so I have a game plan. We're gonna drop these off the warehouse. We are then going to switch. Actually, you know what? We'll just we'll just steal some of the fuel out of this one. I think that should uh, suffice to get us to uh, where we need to go. And it does it does slow down occasionally. Like it just seems like it loses all power. I don't know. Strange. All right, and let's crash it. Why not? Oh, well, let's do it again. Can we do it one more time? No. Okay. Uh, all those are done. We are going to stop the engine. We are going to change trucks. We are going to steal some of the fuel. Uh, did it, did it, we feel, yeah, we're going to steal that much fuel. <laughs> it just straight up took almost 40 gallons. All right, well, you know what? It is what it is. Let's try to get out of here with, uh, minimal damage. And right on cue. Let's just crash into everything. No, nope. where am I going? I think I did this last time, did I not? I'm pretty sure I did. I ended up, uh... I ended up going the wrong way. Alright, so we're taking a little bit too much damage now. 
All right, so we're not far away though. Wow, oh, this has been a uh, this has been a fairly. I wanna I wanna say, not I don't wanna use the word boring, but it's been very uh, very straightforward. We've only we only did the one mission. We had everything set up before we left, and it still took over the one hour time limit that I have to get it done. So uh, this is a pretty intense mission. But uh, if you guys needed to see it done and you watched it for that, then uh, that's how you do it. And uh, there's some things in there of how you don't do it, but let's go ahead and drop these off. Let's get our $12,200. That's that's a pretty good payday, so can't really complain too much there. Uh, we got 1,320 points. I have no clue. What do we got? We got... Uh, does it tell me? No, it doesn't tell me. I thought it told me. Alright, well, you know what? It doesn't tell me what my next mission is. Oh, that's because I'm at, um... Uh, did I even notice that I was at rank 30? I'm at the max rank. And there is... So many more lab maps to do. Um, so yeah, there's there's no point for the uh, the points anymore, so... I wonder why they didn't work that out. Anyway, it seems kind of strange. Um, let's see, what's our next? Radioactive fo fossils in loud and clear. That's almost, that whole uh, company is almost done. This one, we've got plenty to do there. And I got oil. Oh, we're, we're coming up pretty, we're coming up pretty low on this side. Where do we gotta go? We gotta go to the quarry. Let's see here. Let's go to the quarry and see. Uh oh. Nope, it's one of those menus, huh? We gotta go all the way back to the drowned lands and pick up the oil rig and drive it all the way across three maps. So we're gonna have to figure out. We're gonna have to figure out a hauling truck, we're gonna have to figure out a fueling truck, and we're gonna we're gonna do that all in the next mission. Or in the next episode. That's yeah, that's what I meant to say. Um so let's go ahead and shut this off. Uh we are wasting gas and we've got um Well we got the trailer garage here, so it shouldn't take us that long to sell these off. I think what I'm going to do is I think this is going to be our fuel truck. So let's uh, let's recover this. Let's go ahead and retain it. Okay, all the other ones are retained from this map, which is good because if your trucks are in the garage in this map, you have no clue where they are until you find them. So it's always good to retain your uh, your trucks well, that was a that was a nice little tip I got so uh, anyways let's go ahead and go back to the map uh, we need to yeah wait what global map there we need to go to this truck thank you let's actually go ahead and fire this up and uh, I know this episode's running long, but you know what? You guys want longer episodes, right? I think that's what everyone says. No, I don't, I don't think anyone's actually mentioned. Everyone, any any comment about time length has been, ah, do what you want to do. So uh, I'm going to do what I want to do, and we're going to take this truck. We are going to go ahead and return the trailer. And we're going to do it all right now. Uh, we're gonna get ready to do a oil rig delivery, so we've got to uh, we gotta plan this one out and think it through. So we gotta get all the way to the oil uh, the oil fields. Uh, 
No, I go straight. I always forget where the entrance is here, but it's right here. So let's uh, let's drop this trailer off so that uh, I'm cleaning up my mess. I'm not leaving trailers laying around. Although really, you, you don't need to. You don't really need to return them. <laughs> Um, it's just kind of an OCD thing, I guess. I don't know. Like, look at this. This truck and two-wheel drive is still insane. Actually, does that tell me... Yeah, see... We still kind of have four wheels going, don't we? We kind of have all six wheels going. I don't know. I, re I really gotta, uh, I really gotta figure that out and, and do a test on that. Um, but let's go ahead and swing back around. You know what? I bet you, I bet you the, uh, the bandit can get there in time. I'm not going to recover this truck yet because it does have 27 gallons of fuel in it. So, but we're going to, we're going to park it over here. We're going to stop the engine and jump in the bandit. We're going to fire that up. It's got a whopping nine gallons left. Oops. I always do that. I always push the uh, controller too hard. Let's do a 20 point turn. Probably end up getting stuck. Yep, we did. Okay, let's adjust again. We've got 8 gallons left. Can we make it in time? Not if I keep crashing. Okay, we can make this. We can make this. We can do this. Come on. No, turn, turn, turn. This truck does not have a great turning radius either. But, uh, yeah, I think we're good. Oh, ride the rail a little bit. That's fine. No real troubles there. All right, so let's get, uh... Let's get this trailer sold back, and you know what? We made it. I think it cost us two gallons of fuel. Not too bad. All right, so we can uh, we can go ahead and recover this one. I don't think I'm going to be using this one too much, so let's uh, retain that. Back to our global map. I don't know. I'm going to retain this one too, or uh, you know, why don't I just leave this one laying out here? It may come in handy. Uh, let's go to the global map. What truck do we have here? Well, the tartans all the way back here. What? It's been this. I haven't been in the rift for months. All right. Well, let's uh, let's recover this. I can't really do anything with it. I know there was a little fuel trailer there, but. Meh. All right, drown lands. Where is my other oh, Tega? That might be a good one to use. Ooh, we could try that one. Let's recover that one. Customize. I know I'm really going long for this episode, so we could do this one. It's got 88 gallons of fuel. Let's think about this one. We'll, we'll think about that one. Let's store that away. Let's go back to the global map. Go to the drowned lands. Go to the garage. Let's see what's in the garage here. I'm tempted to try the whatchamacallit that <laughs> i'm i'm tempted to try it we use this truck all the time so i kind of want to get away from it but it could be used for it uh you know what there is truck store right and i believe if i can find it none of these None of those. You know what? It's a heavy. Is it not? Is it not a heavy? I 
could be wrong. Vince here. Yes, I believe it's this guy right here. Well, same with the Kenworth. This one seems like it would be pretty good too. Let's see. Let's view in the store real quick. No, that's not what I want to see. Okay, you know what? Don't worry about it. Let's go back to the let's go back to the game. I will look into a different truck and if I can get the dairy special. Uh, which I believe is the Mastodon. Oh no, this is the Mastodon. Is this the Mastodon? Which one's the Mastodon? I can't remember now. Yeah, I I honestly can't remember now. Um, I think it's this one. <laughs> I think this is the one that uh, is called the Mastodon. I wish they would just have it labeled as the Mastodon. Although it looks a lot like the Dairy Special, but yeah, I'm pretty sure this is it. Anyways, I'm going to end the episode there because we are way over our time and I am losing my mind. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And if you did, give me a thumbs up. If you didn't, give me a thumbs down and uh, let me know why, because I'm still waiting for a, a thumbs downer to uh, give me a reason. So I uh, will see you guys in the ne next episode. Bye for now.